One of the great things about open source content management systems is that they just keep getting better. And that's really true with Drupal and Drupal 9 and now Drupal 10 and a lot of the new projects that are coming along like CK Editor 5 and now the Project Browser. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And yes, you heard me right. If you're a Drupal 9 or 10 user, you now have a project browser. Now, I got to be honest, this has been around in WordPress and Joomla for years, like years. And so it's kind of about time. And honestly, when I need a new module, my first response up till now has been, well, Google it. Well, not anymore. We now have the ability to find projects right within our Drupal website. Let's take a look. I'm over here quickly at the project browser page, drupal.org slash project slash project underscore browser. It's not quite finished yet, but it still does work. And it's got some really, really great Drupal heavyweights behind it. It's going to be a fantastic addition to any Drupal site, especially if you're new to Drupal. So you can try it now right here by spinning up a site at Gitpod, which actually that's how I do all of our training now. We use Gitpod sites. And so it's just terrific. You install it via the normal composer way. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. I've installed this on just a plain vanilla Drupal site, one of our training sites. And so now you've got a new menu called Browse Modules. And when you click on that, you get a little status message here because again, it's not quite ready yet, but you can now browse the entire drupal.org project repository and find modules that you might wanna use. Out of the box, they're sorted by maintained projects covered by the security policy and sorted by active installs. Of course, you can get rid of any of those filters or change them as you want. If I click on filters here, I can even say development status is active, etc., etc., etc. Also, it automatically filters for the version of Drupal you're using. And that's actually really awesome. So out of the 49,000 or so modules at Drupal.org, you're automatically brought down to 4,315 at the time of this recording, which are maintained, covered by the security policy, and work with the version of Drupal that I have, which happens to be 9.5. And so here you go. You can view it as a list or a grid, and you can also, of course, filter by category. I think one of the great values that we're going to see with the project browser is that you're going to start to find new projects maybe you've not been exposed to before. I've been teaching Drupal for over 10 years, and I'm constantly amazed at how many projects or modules I've not actually tried. Maybe they've not come up in training. Maybe they're just not something I've ever needed before. But there's some really, really good ones. And of course, again, being sorted by active installs is going to show me the more popular ones here at the top. If I scroll down, I can see that there's just in the content area alone, 48 pages worth of modules, many of which I've never even looked at. So I think this is going to be a really big help. So whether you've been around Drupal for a long time or you're brand new to Drupal, the project browser I think is going to be actually pretty helpful. I'm going to encourage you, if you've been around Drupal for a long time, check it out. It's simple to install. Obviously, it's a composer command. And it just exposes you to some things maybe you've not even considered before. I don't think I've ever been more excited to be involved in Drupal than I am right now. I think there's some really amazing progressions being made. I think Drupal 10 is going to be awesome. Uh, Drupal 10.1 is looking like it's going to be really helpful. I'm, I'm going to release some more videos on that as it gets closer. I slated for a June release. Like I said, I'm not sure I've ever been as excited as I am right now to be in Drupal. It's a great time. Well, listen, thanks for watching. This has been OS Chips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. And uh, as we always say, you know what? Would you like, subscribe? It helps us out. And we'll see you next time.